welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I made my DIY kitchen island and I'm obsessed. I absolutely love it. I'm going to share each step with you and I'll, I'll link everything below what I got. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think. Also, the first time I saw this kitchen in this house, my first thought was I want a kitchen island. <laughs> I've always wanted a kitchen island, but all my kitchens have been pretty small. So there have been not even been room for a small one. So when I saw this one, my first thought was a kitchen island. So I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. And I'm really, really pleased that I did because it is just perfect. So yeah, today is the day I'm going to build it all up. Yeah, if you have any questions, also let me know. I kind of just had this image in my head of what I wanted. So that's kind of what I went for. Um, but yeah, any questions, let me know. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Okay, so I'm just going to unbox everything first of all. I wanted to get a couple of stalls and I didn't have like a big budget. So I was looking for honestly the cheapest ones and these were the ones that came up the best. And it was a little confusing <laughs> putting it together. I'm not going to lie. I'm not very good at following instructions. I completely did it wrong and had to undo it and start again. But I learned for the second one. But the stalls, honestly, I, I would highly recommend these if you're on a low budget and you want a couple of stalls these are really really nice they're really actually quite comfortable i'm really happy with them so yeah i'm really really pleased that i got these two Now for the calyx unit and these are probably the most simple things to build to be honest they're, they're pretty easy So I know I had to put some feet on the units and the ones at Ikea were coming up quite expensive for the actual unit. So I bought these off Amazon and then I got two sets of the white wooden feet and then I also got some brass feet for the other side. And what I planned to do was to put the white ones in the middle so that you don't really see them and the brass ones on the ends, which you'll see towards the end. So yeah, I was really happy with them and these were... These were so simple to, to attach, they so easy. And yeah, if you're looking to add some feet to something, these are really good um, and they're really affordable, I thought.
So here's the brass ones. These were a little bit more expensive, but I did really want them. So I, I did splurge out a little bit on these ones. Okay, so now I'm just going to put them together. And first of all, I you'll see the feet are not the right way. So I do thankfully realise and I turn it to the correct way. Otherwise, I would have been a little bit upset if I'd have done it all and then realised. So I was glad I did quickly realise. So these are the extendable legs because the other legs were coming up too short and I needed them a bit longer. I thought these were really easy to use and I'm just going to attach it to the tabletop. Tabletop is the one thing that I don't have a link for because I don't know if they sell this specific one. But I'm going to link some others that are quite similar. But you're, if you do want to do this, it's always best to measure the space and the size of everything first, which I did. And thankfully, the tabletop worked perfect. Now, this was really, really hard because it's so heavy. And I mean, so heavy. And I didn't have anybody to help me lift it. So I was really struggling. But... I got it on there. I was just worried that the, the legs might have bent, but they didn't, thankfully. And once I put the chairs in, I just, oh, everything was coming together. And now I'm just going to put the boxes in and I've just got eight boxes of the white ones because I didn't want to spend too much money again. And these are just perfect. So absolutely love them. now I'm just putting them inside and my goodness they have given me so much more storage I'm actually struggling to fill them but you can't have too much storage so what I did realize also was that the island was a bit too close to everything so I have moved it out and I've made it a bit more spacious around where the cooker and the sink was and it's just really really in a good spot now the only thing I'm not sure about is if I might keep the rug there I might move it but I'm just going to see for a little while first and just to finish off i'm just going to attach the tabletop to the unit also just for extra secure but yeah i think it's uh, come along really well <laughs> Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know what you think. I'm totally obsessed. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm so, so pleased. I've got so much more storage and I've still got like a big space over here. So it's not even like it's took a lot of space away. So yeah, I'm happy, all around happy with it. I'm so pleased. So yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy today's video. And yeah, I've got some more projects in mind, what I want to do to this kitchen and yeah can't wait to get started thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye